Well, good morning, people. We've had some people ask about, you know, some updates on the house, the barn, the garden, the pool. Teresa's got this thing dialed in. It's gin clear. She learned that those little packets of uh, whatever's in that junk works amazingly well. What's going on in here? I'm watering my babies in the nursery. Look, lettuce, pumpkins, Ooh, watermelon. I just, just planted the watermelon. Green beans. I got little jalapeno peppers coming in. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that little guy. He's coming in. I don't know what he is, but he's sponsored by Yak Attack. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only okra plant sponsored by Yak Attack. <laughs> oh, the tropical plants are coming up. Bananas are doing well. I think that my plumeria is going to, it's never flowered. So I think it's actually going to flower this year. I think those are flower pods, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Like that Florida rain. What we got here, babe? Green squash, zucchini squash. These are zucchini squash, and these two are yellow squash. I'm training it. Are you training it? To go up on the fence. Uh, this is my custom, uh, we come down here at water bottles. This is my water bottle holders. All right, I gotta show them our geese now. We have like a bunch of Canadian geese that come in every day. They're grazing up there. We have, we have Canadian geese, folks. Look at that. Canadian goose this is. Gave them bread. I gave them bread and Ritz crackers. They ate the bread, but they don't like the Ritz. We've had some people comment as to why I'm not fishing in this lake that borders our property. It's because it's not ours. It belongs to our neighbor, but it does border, so we do get to Enjoy have the... the Enjoy the view, huh? That's it. That's the neighbors. Our neighbors. Super sunny. Now yeah, it's raining. It's out of nowhere. Good thing is we just uh, messed with the garden yesterday, so trying to get it looking good around here. The sun was shining bright, walking around the yard, and bam, rain. Love that Florida weather. The very next day, oh, the cat came back. Look who came back. It's Mr. Pickles. Now he can't get enough of us. He stays on the roof all day long, and then he comes down. He's very nocturnal right now. Yeah? Are we done with our feud? Yeah? So we have a 14-year-old, the Gavinator, better known as the hard hit man. I've been trying to teach him to drive, so he makes a circle right here. And My he does, man. does really good, you know? And I figure if you can back a trailer, you can do anything with driving. So I've been having him back the trailer, and he's been like, coming like this and like this and he's having I kill it you know and I do it and I finish it up I always let him try to back the trailer and <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's take a look at what happened to our trailer okay so okay there's yeah. the there's the first injury right, that I mean I don't know what you yeah that's pretty bad and then this yeah this is this is broken this is why we need an aluminum welder now. Oh my gosh. So, you know, this is my bad. Broke the cardinal rule of using, never using two feet. And he got confused and bumped the gas. Uh, hit the gas right as he got close to the barn. It bounced off of this. There's a little bit of our stickers. There's some stickers, yeah. It landed up over here though, right? Yeah. Smashed this and ended up over here. Yeah. So, our beautiful trailer that we got from Mariner Sales that holds like seven kayaks now is all... <laughs> <laughs> I call it the pretzel trailer. So, you know, we are a small business. It's just Teresa and I. And something like this really sets us back. It's kind of painful, but we'll get through it. We're positive people. We believe in abundance and positivity. And, and we believe 14-year-olds should take driver's ed and not back up. My bad.